all, welcome back to Richard in the Sky. I'm Richard, we're back at the Sling facility in beautiful Torrance, Southern California. Uh, you'll recall that we started with my quick build over on this side of the hangar when we first got it going. And now we've made some really nice progress to the point where we've moved over to sort of the final kind of installation and production side of our, our quick build. You can see my plane is this uh, fuselage right over there, right beside, right behind uh, Steve from Midwest Panels. And that's what we're gonna talk about. I had started my design process with you long before even my kid had arrived. And we started talking about different options on layout. One particular option was how we were able to get this USB-C and USB-A switch from up here to down here, as well as kind of customizing other aspects and I think that's one of the advantages you would agree with um, experimental airplanes is that we kind of have the ability to sort of sure. customize panels and, and equipment and things like that yeah yeah we do and you know the only limitation we have like for these particular panels because we do all the backlighting so we try to stay within a standardized set so that we don't have to design, you know, 50 million different backlights, but we were able to do that with this one. Yeah. Um, so that was pretty easy. But yeah, customizing is, you know, obviously one of the key features. We've got Brad underneath the panel here. He's hooking up the uh, VPX. So the VPX is what all of the breakers go into so that you can see a digital output on the G3X. So instead of having physical breakers, all of the, the wiring for each of the systems goes into what's called the VPX. And the VPX is sort of a computerized circuit breaker. So now we don't have physical circuit breakers on the panel. Um, I'll get an enunciator on my G3X if anything, you know, shorts. Um, and I can reset it on the G3X too. So that's what he was just hooking up under here. Um, how comfortable is it in here for you, Brad? <laughs> it's not that comfortable. Yeah, so we get some foam rubber in here to try to help the process, but it is a, it's a bit of a challenge kind of getting all this in here. So as you can see, a lot of the parts of the plane have already been painted. The last thing that'll be painted is the fuselage, but you can see we've got our wings painted. This is the color I've chosen, and we've got both wings, and we've got you know a lot of the empennage, you know the rudder, the vertical and horizontal stabilizer, and the uh, the elevator are all painted. Um, and then once the avionics go in, this is going to go into the booth that we're getting ready to show you and then that'll be painted and, uh, and then you know we'll start assembling the airplane and doing the, the finishes. So I went through a lot of iterations on the paint, right? Paint schemes, paint colors. There were different things that I had in mind initially and I even hired one of those companies that sort of helps design paint schemes and stuff like that because there was a, a paint scheme that I, I liked and had in mind and I sent that to them and it just didn't work out and it seemed too busy for me. I wanted something, it turns out, a little bit more simpler um, and I found this color actually on an Audi. Um, this paint color is called Camora Gray Metallic and I saw it, I actually went to the dealership and I got the paint code and I really liked the way that it looked. And I said, I'm just gonna have a single color airplane and I'll make it this. And then uh, I'll make my end numbers like a silver with a black border and that's, that's what I decided on those. This is how the wing comes when the kit's delivered. This is, you know, obviously the aluminum. And then it goes through a process where the painter, Carlos, um, kind of preps it for paint uh, prior to obviously doing this. So we'll show you what that looks like now. This is what the wing looks like after it's uh, been prepped. So this one is getting prepped for paint and this is the paint booth behind us here. So this will go in there and Carlos, who does the painting here, um, will get to work on this. But obviously he does some sanding and, and, uh, and priming and whatnot to, to get it ready. Well, here we are, I've just turned the lights on in the paint booth and we're gonna go show you inside there. If you want to take a look, it says employees only behind this point, but you know, we're going to break some rules. Oh, 
We got some kind of, okay, so here's the paint room. Um, and actually, what's kind of fortuitous is that these are the back of the front seats of the airplane, of my plane. So here again is the color. And it uh, looks like these are here curing. I don't know if it was a good idea I touched it, but it's not wet, so I think we're okay. But yeah, so this is the paint room. So the whole fuselage of the airplane comes in here, the wings come in here, everything comes in here. And uh, it's a really great booth. And that's it, here's the paint booth. Hey guys, so that was a little bit about the avionics installation and how I came to my paint scheme. The next episode will be about the engine run-up. So we'll assemble the whole plane, we'll go through all the systems and take you through that. I hope you join me on the journey. Like and subscribe to Richard in the Sky. We'll see you on the next one.